city of Mississauga. Winter has finally arrived. Bruno Caboclo having his own mannequin challenge after a huge game on Sunday. Brady Heslip didn't shoot it well Sunday, looking to bounce back here this morning. And the newest member of the 905, Eddie Tavares, is officially in uniform. The only thing with Caboclo playing the four is he will need to put on weight to play the four at the NBA level. Absolutely, he's just turned 21. He's getting there physically. His body is still developing, but you're right. Woo. A nice play from Dinwiddie to Thomas for the connection. Avila with it now. Loose ball, Van Vliet comes up with the miscommunication right to the cup and that falls. Coach Stackhouse has, has his 905 team doing something he hasn't seen in the D-League as Heslip able to get in the passing lane and go to the cup. Down low to Utah. A one foot turnaround jumper from Jared Utah. Okay, didn't see that coming, but no hesitation. <laughs> Little step back referencing Dirk. Sheehy, great pass cross court to Heslip for three. That falls for the Burlington native. Stop, sticks with it. What I, what I have liked from him though, as oh. Thomas with that the emphatic dunk. Aggressive. Here's Webster Chain in the corner, gives it to Van Vliet. Six on the shot clock. Van Vliet picked up by Walkup on the drive, uses the body count, the bucket. Van Vliet. The kick to Marrera, five on the shot clock. Van Vliet in the corner left open. That falls for Fred Van Vliet. Utah, Tupon, Sheehy, Heslip, and Tavares to start the fourth. Utah liking that one footer. A lot of time going off the clock. She Sheehy has it taken by Dinwiddie. He goes in for the two-handed flush. And this lead getting shorter. And shorter, Marrera goes for the screen. Van Vliet, pull up, the jumper, finally falls. And see if that can spark this offense for the 905, Randy. Van Vliet running downhill, flips it up, that goes off the window. Dinwiddie picking up the dribble. Thomas picked up by Tupon. Seven on the shot oh, that's clock. That's great defense. Corner, walk up, that falls. We might have ourselves an old fashioned shootout here to in the final 2.30. Van Vliet gets his own rebound. Six points now here in the last two minutes from Van Vliet. Van Vliet goes too strong. Ooh, no Thought there was there. contact up the floor. And Thomas gets the easy flush. Pivotal play could be Van Vliet. Looked like there was a lot of contact on that drive. At least he tried to initiate it. Van Vliet off the screen, gets that wow. jumper to go. Almost wow. had it blocked from behind by Dinwiddie. If he didn't lean forward as much as he did, that ball was not making it to the rim. He's picked up by McKinney, six on the shot clock. Van Vliet will pull, Come and on. that falls for Fred Van Vliet. You gotta be kidding me. The five second call. Coach Stack wanted it, Dinwiddie on the drive. The layup. See, I like that defensively. A Van Vliet still stuck his hand out, forced the drive. You'd rather have two than three. Just don't foul here. That's all you got to do. Game's over. As Singler controls the rebound, and they got a little adversity late in the game, and they managed to hold on and come away with a six-point win, 98-92, the first time they've been kept under 100, and the first time they've given up more than 87 points. But still a great defensive effort, still holding them under 100, and the crowd appreciates it as they give the 905 a standing ovation. But to go 3-0 is a great start for Stackhouse in his coaching season debut.